Now, tart cherries or cherries in general are really popular to help the body balance uric acid levels. And they're, they only get to one half of the issue uh, because uric acid is um, either a byproduct of the food that we're eating, or it is a byproduct of natural internal cellular metabolism. Like we create it um, with our own bio mechanisms on a daily basis. So what cherry does is it stops the, conver the conversion of something called purine from food into uric acid. Um, so that's how it helps to balance that out. But the problem is that it doesn't do anything about the uric acid that's already there in your body to help your body deal with the uric acid that's already present, that's already been created, you need to support your kidneys because your kidneys are pretty much the only organ system that is gonna remove that excess uric acid from the bloodstream and then remove it from the body through urine. So if you're only gonna do cherries, you're really only getting at one part of the issue and if you've made dietary changes to reduce purine, high purine foods like shellfish, beer, high fructose corn syrup, cherries aren't really going to do anything for your kidneys. Um, and the other side of that, I know a lot of people are like, well, I eat fresh cherries. Great. If you're eating a pound a day minimum, then you're doing a good job. If you're eating six or 10, you're not doing anything. So it, it's dose dependent.